for staying with us right here on Sunrise. I'm sure you needed to know how you can get to work nice and safely. Bit of a challenge there with uh, Emma G with uh, our line. We'll try and get hold of her uh, to bring you an update a little bit later. As we continue right here on Sunrise this morning across the globe, citizens and companies are left vulnerable due to a, of course, a lack of cybersecurity skills. Now, in uh, South Africa, a lack of cybersecurity skills is causing major problems and leading to shopping frenzies of Black Friday. In the festive season, online transactions are set to skyrocket. This morning, we will be looking at practical ways to protect yourself from cyber attacks. Joining us, of course, uh, to get into this conversation from Answers Limited, uh, Senior Product Manager ja Yaku Bota is joining us, and you at home can be part of our chat by calling us on 0114471742 or 0111620. And your comments are also welcome on our Facebook and Twitter pages. Good morning to you, Yaku, and thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for the invitation. Now, cybersecurity skills, first of all, none of us know what that is about if we're not in that space. Just just give us a sense of like what we need to understand about all of that. So cybersecurity is really about protecting people, assets, information, everything online and uh, in the digital environment. Mm -hmm. And but, uh, but how informed uh, or empowered us uh, ordinary South Africans about that? I think people in general are not uh, very well informed. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's not something that, uh, that we all um, get to work with. Um, you know, in our line of work, we, we deal with it on a day-to-day -day basis, so it's second nature for us. But um, when you go to a online site um, and you type in your password or you are asked to type in a password um, very often you don't really think about what's behind the what's what's going on behind the scenes and why why do you need to choose a good password mm. and um, you know that that type of thing comes into play with cyber security so it's so it's it been it secure it boils online. down to why you need to choose a good password. Well, that's one of the aspects. Okay. Uh, let's not say that that's not the only thing, but cybersecurity is obviously far more broad than that. But, mm. but that's the starting point. You know, um, for most people, um, you have an account online with maybe uh, 20 to 100 sites. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it depends on how active you are online. And um, if, if you use the same password for all of your sites, you're exposing yourself to attacks. Mm. Um, and uh, we, f we find that that's very common. You know, people are actually like, choosing a, a weak password or they're choosing a, a, a password that, that can be easily cracked. Mm. Um, you know, and hackers, they don't sit there and, and think up passwords and type them in. They have programs that, that, uh, that, that you know, attack or, or, or um, uh, okay. Uh, let's <laughs> let's talk about the risk that's associated with um, online transactions. What do people need to understand? So I think the most important thing is that um, you know, with the recent um, in in the not too far, not not too long ago, a couple of weeks ago, mm. there were a, a lot of confidential or personal information um, yes, that in was leaked, leaked, you know, 60 yes, million yes, records. 60 million reco yes. um, so uh, what, we're, what, what we're predicting is that that information will be used by, um, by scammers and, and hackers to uh, maybe send, an, uh, send a, a phishing email. I don't know if you know what phishing mm -hmm. is, but mm. so they can send a phishing email to you uh, using some of that information to make it look more legitimate. And uh, if you're not careful, you might be fooled into entering your information on a site mm. that looks like the real thing, and then uh, and then you uh, might compromise your your uh, username and password um, for for a site, website and things like that. So ordinary citizens and business, I guess even government, is at risk of these um, hackers and and, and, and cyber uh, well. Cyber security, there's a Sorry. cyber security being at risk. Yes. Okay. But so, how do you guys uh, equip people as answers to make sure that they don't find themselves that exposed? So, um, we do it in a couple of ways, but um, we've started now with a, um, we've, we've just actually launched a new product uh, called uh, Solid Web Key, which is a, um, it's, it's a physical key that you can, um, that you can use 
to store all your passwords on. So yeah, you can now um, take, let's say, um, for all all hundred websites that, that that you have access to, you can you can choose a really strong password, maybe something that's thirty characters long, mm -hmm. and uh, you don't have to remember it. Store it on the on the web key, and then when you log in, you can use you can use your web key to uh, to, to log in, for instance. Okay, um, that's one of the things we do. What other techniques do we know based on, on your experience? If you guys are providing a solution uh, that criminals use to scam people. Uh, online that are popular so in so very times. very popular is um, you know phishing is, is is a very big big issue um, and the way people get to phishing is by using compromised uh, credentials you know so your your personal information they get hold of that then they um, they f somehow um, pose as as you and and then go online and maybe do a transaction or they break into your email account, uh, send an email on your behalf, uh, let's say to your uh, attorney, say, okay, transfer this money instead of I'm buying a house now. So transfer this money into my, um, in, into my, uh, into mo the hacker's bank account instead of the real person's bank account. Okay, so that, that so type of stuff. So that's that's a at a high level. It's, it's normal. Yeah, it's, but it's but crime. what about regular, ordinary people who, I mean, I might not have an attorney who I need to send instruction to. What are some of the things that I might uh, be exposed to? Well, uh, that will put me at risk. Well, most most people in, at certain times in their lives have, you know, do. Uh, big transactions sometimes they do small transactions so uh, you know obviously financial risk is is one issue and everybody you know everybody that does online shopping uh, can you know can potentially be, be hacked like that okay. the other problem of course is that you can also uh, suffer reputational damage mm -hmm. and um, you know a good example was the whole saga with Hillary Clinton and uh, hackers getting hold of her email information, making that public and causing embarrassment. Mm. So I think as a celebrity or as a, as a um, you know, person that has something to lose when your reputation is on the line, mm. you should also be concerned about, uh, about hackers from that aspect. Okay, so w when it comes to like things like um, it's leading to Black Friday, people are going to be shopping online, those who are online shoppers. Yes. What are the dangers that they might find themselves in, and that they need to look out for? Uh, look, I, I think it's not uh, it's not necessary to panic, mm. um, but uh, I do think um, it's it's in order to be a little bit more careful, especially now with the uh, the breaches that have occurred. You know, we do expect that there will be uh, more risk, mm -hmm. uh, but I think if you if you can make sure that your your password that you've chosen for um, each of the sites that, that you're on mm. is unique mm. and that it's, that it's at least strong, um, you know, in the sense that uh, you shouldn't use your kid's name, shouldn't use your, your but date of birth. But those are the things I can remember, Yaku. Yes. I, I so won't be able to remember the other stuff. So what you, what, what you do is you, you can get one of these uh, solid web keys and you can store all your passwords on there. Mm -hmm. And uh, that gives you, it gives you an easy way to remember and you don't have to remember okay. yourself. I'm just regular Penny. I don't have an, a big attorney. I'm not a celebrity who my information <laughs> might embarrass me and all of that stuff. Um, how do I protect myself, you know, make sure that my information is stored on my phone, um, laptop or personal computer is, is protected? What are the basic things that I can do? Let's say I, I, I'm not at a level where I can afford any of those products. Okay, well, um, I think the, the best way to do it, um, if you don't want to uh, spend any money, is, mm. is good, just go and find yourself a, a free uh, password manager mm -hmm. uh, software. You can get that. Mm -hmm. And um, I wouldn't say that's the best way, but it's a cheap way. It's, it's a start. It's an affordable yeah. way, mm. right? Mm. So um, that's one, one way you can do it. The other way is just to be more vi vigilant and understand that if you if you don't choose a good password, um, the hackers will very easily get your, you know, um, be a, if they if they decide to target you, mm. uh, they'll, it'll be easy for them. Um, okay. 
So I don't have a personal computer. I go into the bank or the local uh, internet cafe yes. um, to make a payment. Um, how do I protect myself in a situation like that? So um, you have to you have to understand that uh, let's say you're at an internet cafe. Um, mm. You you need to make sure that you you clean your browser history when you leave there. Um, be a little bit uh, on the lookout for uh, because the thing is with a internet cafe mm. you know they might be a key logger or at the bank using there. the banks, uh, uh, banks, you know, PC ba bank, to do banks that. bc i don't think mm. is a problem mm. they, those, those guys know what they're doing but but internet cafes you know be careful when you type your passwords into an internet cafe mm. uh, or uh, or when you do banking over a public wi-fi uh, for instance mm. you know so people just need to be they, they need to take care more ab about these things, you know, and educate themselves. Uh, I think that's important. Okay, so the reality of the World Wide Web is that it can be very intimidating as much as it's very exciting. And not yeah. everybody, uh, you know, has got the insights of how it works, you know, behind the scenes and all of that. It's a whole new world. You get in there and then, for example, you're in Google and then it asks you to, if it should remember your password, you're thinking this is my tablet i use it all the time i mean it yes. should remember the password would you advise that i do something like that no i, I think you I, I think you're fine um i think if you if you suspect that something uh is going on that that that, that you don't trust mm. um you know just just go and change your password to something you know to a good password mm. and uh don't use if you if you don't use the same password on lots of sites mm. And let's say you do you do suffer from a phishing attack, mm. then uh, you know at least you're you're only going to compromise that one account. You're not going to to compromise all of your accounts that are using the same password. Mm. Um, and uh, do you think these things do happen? You know, um, it isn't it isn't uncommon for someone to be the subject of you know it's not a shame mm, to mm. be a, a subject of a of a phishing attack because the f the, the scammers are clever. You know they. Mm. They know how to how to fool you into doing stuff they want. Do we know, for example, if you know certain phishing sort of like scenarios are, are popular at a particular time? What I'm trying to get at is like we're getting into the festive season now. Uh, you know, what are sort of things that we need to look out for that we might think actually, you know, there's promotions and all. Yeah, I think um, you know over this period uh, you're likely to see some some special offer phishing um, mm -hmm. things. You know. Uh, the the traditional phishing uh, thing is, um, you know, that the, the the scammer tells you that uh, your bank account has now been frozen. You can't can't access it, so you have to you have to go and unlock it by mm -hmm. clicking on a link or something, mm. um, or uh, you know such like. But um, you know, so be on the watch out for for sort of links that don't look right. You mm. know, if you if you go. Uh, let's say you're on uh, on your on your laptop PC. Mm. Uh, you can just just hover your mouse over the link, and usually it will show you. And you know if if that link that says it's from APSA mm. actually is from Russia, then you should be careful. You <laughs> know, <laughs> from Russia, I don't know if that okay. But I guess that's that. I mean, the or worst another one that could happen. You probably could get a one that says your. Tax returns. Uh, I should. Uh, I should actually be saying. <laughs> I should oh. actually be saying Nigeria. <laughs> because, uh, oh, Russia, Nigeria. Yes, Could be uh, from anywhere. Yes. Zimbabwe. Anything's yeah, yeah. possible. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, Krista. Uh, yeah, I'm sure that uh, <laughs> does help people. If they want to uh, get more information, you guys have a website where they can uh, log yes, on. Yes. So they can go to uh, solidkeys.co.za. Mm -hmm. Okay.